Hey everyone, today I'm going to be addressing a very important problem in line following and that is how do you get your robot to acquire the line in order to follow on it. Here is the problem that we're going to be addressing today. You have your FLO robot within the base and you want to follow this line that's right here. But the problem is this line does not start directly at your base. You have to traverse this area over here which contains different gradients of gray which may or may not interfere with your line follower. So you need to get your robot out of the base over this area and onto the line so you can follow it and continue on with the rest of your program. Now you may want to know that I'm using an older version of the field because I have a square base but this doesn't really affect much because the concept that I'm going to be teaching today stays the same. The first thing you're going to want to do is take your robot and go over into port view and we're going to be measuring the number of degrees on one of your drive motors. So that's either the motor in port B or port C. It doesn't quite matter. But you're going to set it down on the table. And we're going to gently roll the robot forward and measure the distance it takes to get just before the line. So right here, you see my color sensor is not quite over the line, but it's past the majority of this area here. And I'll explain why that is for a second. but. I mean in a second. But as you can see we've measured a degree value here. It's about 188 degrees on my robot but your mileage may vary depending on your specific robot. Now the reason why we just measured this distance is because when we go to program the robot we're going to program the robot to drive forward that amount of degrees and then stop and then drive forward until it sees the line. So if you think about it we're doing this in two stages. The robot drives forward just for the amount of degrees that we've measured and it's going to ignore anything that's on the color sensor because the idea was that something in this area here might interfere with the uh, color sensor and give it a false positive. So we drive forward for that amount of degrees to get it close to the line but not quite and up until then we've ignored the color sensor and then once we're close to the line then the robot's going to start looking for that target light value to know that it's on the line so it can continue with its line following. Now that we have a clear direction in mind and we've determined our target values we can build the program. The first thing you're going to do is program that first stage that I described where the robot's just driving for that specified number of degrees. You're going to take a loop block and set the exit case to motor rotation and of course that's going to be degrees because it's the value we measured earlier. You're going to select one of your drive motors, either B or C. It doesn't really matter which one because the idea is if you're driving straight they're both going to drive the same number of rotations. So I'm just going to choose B. We're going to finish setting this up in just a second. We're going to put another block, a move tank block, within this loop and we're just going to set this for on. And we're going to choose a power that allows our robot to drive straight so both of them are going to be the same power both wheels and we're going to choose a slow power so we have a lot of control over our robot I'm going to choose 25 percent for my robot and I'm choosing negative 25 for a reason that I've explained in a lot of videos before because Sirius my robot that I'm using drives forward at a negative power and if your robot drives forward with negative power there's an extra step that you have to do here where you're, when you set the number of degrees, I measured 188 before, so I'm just going to make a, a nice round 190. You're going to have to make this negative if this was also negative, and you're going to need to flip the sign. So for my specific robot, I'm going to set this for less than or equal to 190 degrees. But if your robot isn't like Sirius, where it drives forward with positive power, you would set this to greater than or equal to positive 190. Anyway, that's the first stage of the program. My robot's just going to drive forward at 25% power until it reaches its degree target of 190. What I'm going to do after that is I'm going to put out a brick LED block. And the reason for that is, you'll see later, it just helps us track the progress of the program as it goes on. You'll be able to see this in action in just a minute. We're now going to program the second stage, which uses another loop block. This time we're going to use the color sensor for the exit case and we're going to set this to reflected light intensity because this is where the robot starts looking for the line. The contents of the second loop block are going to be the exact same thing as the first. You're just driving forward at that desired power. So you can just copy that right in like that. 
and then you're going to set up your color sensor's reflected light intensity. So you'd like it to be less than or less than or equal to a certain light value. And this is something you should have measured before when you're programming your line follower. This is whatever light value your robot would consider uh, being on the line. So in my case, it's anything less than 25% would tell the robot that it's on the black line. Then we're going to put another one of these to track again the progress of the program. I'm going to change this to a different color to green. And finally at the end of all of this programming we've just written you can then insert your line follower of choice. So right here I'm adding a proportional line follower. I'm not going to go over how to program one in this video because I already have a separate video for that and you could check that out if you'd like to learn how. Anyway this is where you insert your desired line follower because at this point in the program the robot has already acquired the line and your robot will then line follow and move on with the rest of its program. Here's that program that we just made in action. The first thing that you should notice is that I've programmed the LEDs on top of the brick to show us the status of the program. They change color depending on the stage. So they flash green at the beginning when the robot's just driving forward that desired number of degrees. Then the light turns orange when the robot is searching for the line. Then the light turns green again when the robot's found the line and it continues to line follow. The second thing you should notice is that the robot doesn't even really need to be directly on top of its target path on the line in order for it to work correctly. You just have to get the robot close enough and then the line follower can sort out the rest. Now what I've shown here is quite a short distance you can see. This is only a few centimeters or so. You could certainly adapt this program to work over a longer distance. A lot of the steps would be the same. But one thing you'll have to keep in mind is that over a longer distance the robot will have more of an opportunity to meander from a straight path. So to counteract this, you might also want to incorporate my drive straight program either by using the motor encoders or the gyro sensor to keep your robot driving straight during the first stage of this program where it's just driving up to get close to the line and that will make your program more consistent and if you're interested in that video I'll put a card up in the top right corner of the screen so you can go watch that. Thanks for checking out my video this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, leave it in the comments section below. Thank you and I'll see you next time.